Some people got that need for speed, like Tom Cruise or something. Me, you know, I'm more on the, I'm more on the just riding the bike, enjoying the ride, having the freedom. You know, that's about it. And then if I hit 100, cool. If I hit 120, cool. If I, if I uh, learn how to pop wheelies and all that, cool. And those, uh, maybe. You know, the only reason on the, the pop wheelies is because, you know, I can stunt on those kids in the city. Well, they, once they start popping wheelies in front of me, and I start doing on them. And then they just shut up because... They can't do better than that, you know? They can't... They can't do better unless they do it on a dirt bike, I guess. And they do it like at 12 o'clock. Then, you know, they're going to have me then. But until that day, you know, those uh, 16-year-old kids, 12-year-old kids, they, they, yeah, I'm just going to be stunting all over them. They're going to be mad. And I'm going to be laughing. This is more traffic than I thought it was going to be. I uh, looked up online how to get to Philly without, you know, dealing with toes. And the guy suggested taking this way. I never knew about it. So, uh, you know, said it's going to be easy going. Yada, yada, yada. Um, it adds on. I think it adds on some time because it's out of the way, you're going out of the way and then coming back basically. Um, but I mean, I, I think most bikers, I guess, depending on what kind of bike you ride, anyway, going out of the way is perfectly fine, you know, because you get to ride more, you need to see more things. And usually, out of the way is something like this, where you're seeing like some <laughs> dead grass. <laughs> Or you might see some rolling hills, or you might see some, uh, some, some, um, farm animals, or a lady walking to a mailbox. I don't know. You get to see all this other stuff that you're not going to see in the city, of course, depending on where you live. And, you know, definitely not going to see, I'm definitely not going to see it in my city. So, it's nice to be able to go out of your way sometimes and see some stuff you know so I didn't mind the fact that it'd be uh, about 45 minutes longer but um I thought it'd be left traffic too but even though there's traffic here it's still I still don't think it's that bad compared to the time of day and if I was to go somewhere else like ride on some other road if I was to be on the highway, uh, maybe around this time it wouldn't be so nice. Might even be close to some stop and go type on the, on the highway, which I don't want to really do. Stop and go sucks where you anywhere you're at, and it's even worse if you're on the highway, you know, because people are bowling, and some people don't pay attention, and they're bowling, and they think they can stop. But they stop too late, you know, and that's why a lot of uh, accidents on the highway happen, or people crossing lanes, you know, because they think that lane is faster, not paying attention, cut you off, another accident, less of an accident type of thing on the uh, on the roads, you know. So I'd rather get that stop and go on a regular street where people are probably going like 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, you know compared to stop and go on the highway you come to a stop and then the people behind you you know a couple miles of the road don't know anything about it and they doing like 65 mm -hmm. I wonder what 136 is I am about to I'm gonna go to this rural farms over here and release the demon
Burn it out. Yeah, so basically, I passed Main Street. I did the exact same thing that I was trying to avoid doing, which was missing my goddamn turn. And I freaking was my turn! So now I'm riding on this bridge, which takes me across going towards, uh, uh, Pennsylvania. No love from that group. It takes me towards Pennsylvania. Um, uh, but... That's cool. Bunch of rocks. And honestly... Okay, so this is a hydro... Plant. It's a dam. And the dam got water behind it. That's why you can see more water on that side than over this side. And then the water is let out through the dam. This is, uh, oh, you know, this is teaching all the people that don't know, any, know anything about a hydro plant. And it lets the water through the dam. The water passes through. Here's the turbines. Turbines spin produce uh, electricity. Know what I'm saying? He gave me the, uh. So. Now that I've passed over the road and passed the place I was supposed to go to try to uh, get back on course to go to Harvard Grace, I am now going to just go to um, another city which is called the Rising Sun, uh, made in the Cecil County. The place is called the Rising Sun. It's not the Rising Sun, but it's called Rising Sun. Never been there before either, and I actually want to see how that place is. From the map, it's pretty small. So, if I'm not paying attention, once again, if I'm not paying attention to this, I'm going to miss it. You know? Um, I hope I don't miss it. Rise the sun five miles away. Alright, gotta stay focused for that five miles. Don't wanna miss the turn. Uh I should probably went east. Since that's what the sign was, I'm not doing too good at this. I had another chance to do it. Oh, there we go. Uh, paid no attention to the way I turned this then. It was a bad turn. It didn't drop down any gears. I was braking almost the whole way through. This is all around terrible. Alright, rising sun. This is probably going to be extra small. Uh, from the map, I couldn't tell if it actually had like a city, like center, and like a downtown type of thing. But the way how small it was, I seriously doubt it. If I do, it's probably gonna be like two buildings. Hey, yeah, that was cool. It was like a little lake with benches all around it.
I don't know, for some reason, the way this was looking, it feels like I'm about to leave the city. That fast. Tiger Pride. Like it's over. The dream is over. Well, this is lame. No disrespect to Rising Sun.